And in G60, what would we do today to erase the risk safety is first of a talent shortage? Well, if we went to a Spanish flag today, we could endorse Filipinos, but we need to have 50% out of which we can put more in the tech side, let's say Europeans, and in the engine side, more Filipinos and those both. Top four need to do 33 questions of Spanish legislation. Wonder why they need that? Because there is someone in a window somewhere asking for bread to eat and to live. This is how it works, the Spanish flag. But we know this risk, we can fight it, and we can really take over 10, 15 units because wages on board other companies have now remained a bit behind the market and all of them have different new opportunities. For example, if we are bunkering or if we are in the LNG trade with Spain, trade with Europe, we know, we know the focus is that ships will trade with Europe. If we are going to find or a flag that is friendly towards all the world officers, what is the trade? For example, let's say Qatar, Qatar to Spain, then we don't need to have any Europeans at all and we can have just one crew management company and then the ship owner, yes, yeah, your good self, so we can make the barriers of entry and exit bigger and the lakes around We'll put some crocodiles and some snakes and we'll make them wider bridges all the time and wider rivers every time so that we have this big huge barrier. In the, in the bridges we'll put some controls so that the talent stays on board your home. We are specialists in building these barriers. The first thing you have to do is I want to have these 10, 15 LNGs, I want to have a perfect plan, zero risk, and I want to stay the talent forever, like a family here, then your partner is Candina, a crew management company, family, DNA, owned by me, so owner to owner, and then we can build this castle of talent. Thank you very much indeed, like and subscribe. What flags? Marshall, Panama, Liberia, Cyprus, so-so, could be better. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.